Wednesday, the 30th of October, 2024. Good morning, everyone. This morning's devotional is a reading from Matthew chapter 13, reading verses 18 through to verse 20, and they read, Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in his heart. This is a seed sown along the path. The one who received the seed that fell on rocky places is the man who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. We need to understand that the seed spoken about here is the word of God. That when the word of God comes into an individual's life, it begins to feed upon the soil there. And this is why it is important to understand the parable of the sower. If the person is too busy with other things to receive the word of God, the word will not take root. Or if it does take root, it will be starved and eventually die. We forget to water the plant because we are overwhelmed with the world's demands on us. I'm something of a part-time gardener myself and have done plenty of planting and harvesting. And often when I'm traveling about and looking around, I always look at the quality of the soil. Some soil you can see is excellent quality. It's so fertile, it's just to die for. And there's other soil that is so poor, it's a crying shame. The soil that I really particularly enjoy is the soil that's really black. It's like chocolate. That is so fertile. Even the red soil, you can actually see the lushness and the fertility of the soil. That's good stuff. But the weeds also seem to know about this. And so when you've planted your, your crop of good plants, the seeds will invariably, somehow or the other, arrive and just take up residence right next door. Yes, the other thing about a weed, it tends to grow faster than the good stuff. And so after a while, you will not even recognize the stuff that you planted because it has been smothered and starved by the weeds growing and taking all those valuable nutrients out of the soil. If you look around you today, you will see many people whose lives are full of weeds and despite their best intentions, they continually fail to produce a good crop in their lives. The parable of the sower is also one of the most important parables which Jesus taught about the kingdom of God because it answered the question, why doesn't the word just have the effect on people that we would like it to have? Then again, it moves us to ask why God doesn't just change people. And this does not reflect a lack of power on God's part. It is also not a question about what God can do. It is, about a, it is a question of what God will do. It is a question about the precise manner how God chooses to interact with people to accomplish His purposes. It's true that the God of all the earth can do anything He wants, and there are things that He will not do as well. If we're going to work with God in the kingdom of God, we have to find the ways He has chosen for us to work through and then work with Him in those ways. My dear friends, the kingdom of God is of love and understanding and maturity, where people live together under the governance of God Almighty Himself. The kingdom of God will never be a people who are knocked on the head or rewired to become religious robots. That's not what it's about. It's a kingdom where people learn and grow freely under God's guidance. May the Lord be with you. May He bless you. May He cause His face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.